Hey, 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 Med School Made Easy here with another fantastic product. Uh, today we're gonna go over the uh, types of gastric ulcers and their relative prevalences. So here you can see we have an esophagus, a stomach with the lesser curve, the greater curve, the angle of his, the incensura, the antrum, the pylorus, and the duodenum. Um, the first type of uh, gastric ulcers is the most common one, and that is a solitary ulcer in the antrum. This is type one and it happens about 55% of the time. 55% of peptic ulcers will be a type one. Number two is gonna be a combined type where you have a antral or gastric uh, ulceration combined with a uh, duodenal. This would be type two. So two, you can remember there's two spots. This has a relative prevalence of about 25%. Type three is gonna be uh, just pre-pyloric. So here you have your pylorus. This would be type 3, and this is a relative incidence of 15%. Type 4 is up along the uh, more proximal stomach or along the uh, lesser curve here, like along the cardia, somewhere in this direction. And that has a relative prevalence of about 5%. And then type 5 can be anywhere throughout. <clears throat> and that has an unknown prevalence. Um, type 5 is the one that's associated with NSAID-induced gastropathy. Um, so some important things to talk about are that numbers two and three, I'm changing my color here. So two and three are associated with increased acid production, whereas one and four are associated with decreased mucosal integrity or protection. Uh, the way I remember that is that Michael Jordan was number 23 and he had ups. So uh, two threes increased production or increased uh, acid. Some more high points. So peptic ulcer disease in and of itself is associated with a type O blood type. I'm not sure and I don't think anyone knows why that association exists. This is in comparison with uh, type A which is associated with gastric cancer more of an intellectual distinction, but uh, it does come up from time to time. And there you have the types of gastric ulcers, the relative prevalences, the locations, and whether they're associated with decreased mucosal protection, increased acid, or NSAID use. Thanks for watching.